Hello and welcome back to the channel for another College Tier review. Today we'll be taking a look at a custom figure I made from Marauder. Check out their link in the description below. Um, they have awesome action figures and accessories, whether you, you know, you're a 1 to 18 scale Star Wars or Marvel or uh, Joy Toy, whatever it is, Warhammer. They got the stuff for you. They have awesome, awesome stuff. Or if you just want to start doing like World War II specifically or G.I. Joe, they have fantastic action figures and lots and lots and lots of accessories. Um, I've already used them to do a few custom Star Wars figures of my own, and now I did a, just a custom, um, I call him just custom bad guy. Uh, he's pretty sick looking, um, and I use him as a, probably get a few of these guys now to use as enemies for Captain America. They're kind of like Hydra. And yeah, I think Hy what uh, Marauder does is pretty awesome. They have lots of products um, they offer, and I just, you know, figured out a few combinations of some parts that I like that I found on their website and put them together and made this guy um, from the ground of the whole action figure. It's really, really easy to do. Um, you know, I just got an action figure as the base. I got some ammo packs and whatnot to put on him. Um, this whole gun assembly is all one pack that you can get. It's pretty cool looking. And then, you know, you can choose your head and this guy even has a removable helmet. So that's pretty cool. You can see really awesome skull face on there underneath. And I have a nice big chest plate on him. He has a little grenade, um, and then he's loaded with other weapons. He's got he's got a blaster in here. Let's see if I can get it out. That everything's really nicely detailed and painted from Marauder straight out of the packaging. And you can see a nice little pistol here. Keep that in. Uh, fits in the holster really well. You can choose what kind of holster you want kind of blaster you want, just everything. You choose everything. He even has a dagger in here. It's easier if we just take the ammo off. He does have a dagger in the holster here. You can see everything's modular. It just has little pegs on it, and you can just peg it into um, different slots on the figure. You can see a nicely detailed dagger there. Pretty awesome. I believe Modder packages these every time, which is pretty cool. Um, they just give you that accessory and it's not crazy expensive i mean the figure the base figure itself was i think 11.99 for the action figure which doesn't include a head but that's just the action figure itself and then lots of the accessories are like you know a few cents each so that is pretty awesome um, i probably eventually will like lose some of these components on once i've decided on their final location on this guy like I just permanently attach a few accessories that way they don't all fall off on me like they are right now. Um, that's just because I'm on camera, of course, and that's when they decide to pop off. There we go. Everything situated again. But lots of cool accessories to choose from. And they're all excellently detailed, and you can see, like, the paintwork. I mean, on the ammo is really, really nice. You can see this big gun looks awesome. And has ball joints, so you can move the gun around and move his hand around get it into different poses or just attach it from the ball joints and you can have them ho holding it um, via that handle. And then I've just got more ammo, more uh, pouches going around and you can see there's a, a hole there so you can put whatever you want. Same thing on the backpack here, lots of extra holes and slots um, to use however you would like. Armor up your figures. This is really awesome pack. And then of course you could just take some of these, like you could get this belt and put it on, you know, a Star Wars figure and make some sort of custom out of it, which is really awesome ability. And the articulation on these figures is fantastic too. They're like G.I. Joe figures. Um, I'm not entirely sure what exact figure they use as the base mold, but it seems G.I. Joe-esque. Um, you have nice ball joint at the head, so lots of articulation there. I'll just use the left arm since the right arm is currently holding the gun. You can go up all the way, down, rotate around. Oops, detaching everything here. Ro rotate around. And you can see even just the chest plate is just tabbed in to um, that backpack assembly there. Just pretty awesome. And then we get swivel here at the elbow as well. 90 degrees out of the elbow. And then wrist rotation, no kind of swivel on it, but it does rotate. And then you have the full waist articulation, which is really nice. Moves, it's a ball joint, so it moves all around however you would like it to move. And then nice ball joints at the hips, of course, too. 
Oops, lost the ammo again. Um, you can kick back a little bit. And then double joints at the knees, which I think I think Star Wars Vintage Collection figures should all have this kind of joint. So you can bend it in either location. They are still a little bit stiff. Um, Marauder recommends to warm everything with water out of the packaging with warm water um, to get the joints moving if you need to, but I didn't find um, that to be an issue. And then you also do get ankle tilt on there, which is really nice. Sorry, losing parts. <laughs> Manipulating this figure is a little tricky on camera, of course. But they are, I will, I will say, even without gluing anything, they are really robust. Like, to mess around with, they are perfectly fine. To, you don't need to glue anything. Um, and that way, that leaves you the option to customize it more in the future or change out different parts as you see fit. Or if you just want to play with it, you know, just play with it. Playing is awesome. So that is, that is this figure. He's pretty cool looking. Again, he's just like my generic Hydra bad guy that I'm, I'm using, I think, for Captain America to fight. Um, instead of tracking down those older figures that were really gimmicky, I much prefer to make my own customs. Um, and then that way I can use him in whatever scenario or galaxy or universe that I so choose. So that is a Marauder custom figure. I'll definitely get some more from them. Um, in total, this probably cost me maybe, uh, it was on the it was on the higher end. It was around probably $27 for all the parts that I got on this guy um, for just one figure. But I mean, it was definitely worth it. At least in my opinion, I really like this figure and I'll definitely buy probably another of the exact same set of parts to make more of the same figure. For some size comparisons, of course, if I'm saying hi, Idra, where's Captain America? There's Captain America. So you can see scaling wise works really, really, really well um, with your general 3.75, you know, Marvel scale or Star Wars, of course, Star Wars. Put this guy in the middle, maybe. There we go, Captain America. Now you have just a Mandalorian figure for a tall Star Wars figure. There's a Death Trooper. And then for a Joy Toy, just recently reviewed, there is a Joy Toy Army Builder figure. Come on, bro. You're just standing. The heck, there we go. And may as well throw, him, throw in a Stormtrooper, too. So there's just some size comparisons. Man, that Joy Toy guy is giant. But there you go. He scales in nice, I think, um, especially in terms of Captain America. And in that timeline that I'm using him, it works really well. I think these figures from Rotter are really excellent. Um, I definitely recommend building a custom one. And of course, you could do one for as cheap as probably, you could do $15, um, under $15 to make one figure if you wanted to, no problem, and still get a whole bunch of accessories. And I mean, even that $27, that probably included a few other accessories that I added in there um, and have it used on that exact, on the figure. But like, just like the, the pockets and stuff are a few cents each. Um, so are a lot of guns. A uh, big rifle would be like a dollar maybe. So it's definitely well worth the money. Um, and, and it's pretty awesome to just be able to make your own figures entirely. And they have like mechs and all sorts of stuff that you can customize. So I highly recommend Marauder's website. Go check them out, link in the description. And as always, please remember to like and subscribe. It keeps these reviews coming and check out my Instagram so you can stay tuned on the latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next review. See you then.